So, this is just like a quick speed sculpt of a figure and garage kit I did for a friend of their OC. So, I used the exact same techniques that I used for making the BJD, but just sort of applying in, uh, applying them in different ways. So you see for the head, I have the same sphere technique that I did for the BJD. And then really the only difference that you see on here is that I use the tubing tool. And you'll see that a lot when it gets to the hair. And then the way that I got it to spike the way that I did is that I would use the move tool, get it to a general shape that I wanted it to. And then I would go in there with the pinch tool and the smooth tool and just sort of go back and forth between those three tools until I got it where I wanted it. And another thing that this project did take up is it took a really, really long time to blend everything out. Uh, There's a lot of times where I had to use the undo button because I either over smoothed or I decided that just using the move tool would be a much simpler option. And you can see for these ears, I'm using the cone tool and I'm using a similar technique to what I did for hollowing the joints where I turn the primitive the yeah, primitive tool into something that is much flatter and then I just use the move tool to get that kind of concave edge on the ears now these ears aren't very detailed or anything but I was just going for a simple garage kit if I were to make more detailed ears they probably wouldn't be on a figure they would be a separate file for BJDs, but um, I, don't, I don't see a use to that. So many companies have ears. So we just have simple ears, little fur on them, and then you can really see how interesting it is where if you have one color set to your project, you can, set, you can kind of see the way that using tools on it kind of creates that gradient on it. Which is really interesting because it's it's a nice way to keep track of which areas you've already worked on. And then you can see it's the exact same process basically. What I did not show however during this is making it into a garage kit. But to do that I just did the exact same steps that I did for making a BGD head which is mainly using the split tool and then using various shapes and whatnot to create some sort of jointing to make it easier to kind of glue them together if this were printed or casted. I would like to make more garage kits and figures in the future, just kind of on my own free time. I might make some of different characters or of my characters. I would like to use them to get practice because I would eventually like to take commissions, but I don't think I'm at that point yet. But hopefully in the future I will be. I would love to take commissions for things like BGDs and anime figures and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm just not at that level yet, so we're just gonna continue kind of doing this for fun, kind of uploading it on here and whatnot. So here is the finished head without any painting. Here is one of the slides for the garage kit. So these are all the pieces laid out in the way that you would need to lay them out for printing. So if everything were printed, this is how I would have them laid out. And then on the neck, I actually did that the same way that I did the knee joint. So you can see all of this. And then I even have eye holes. So you could put actual like BJD eyes in this garage kit. 
since I feel like it would be the simplest way to do them, since garage kit eyes are very hard to do. And then we have the overpainted version of it. So I just exported this file and then I brought it into my painting app, which is Medibang, and I just painted all the details on. But I still didn't do those ears. Ugh. <laughs>